All right, guys, here we go. Does your track suck? Episode two from the PlayStation. Uh, I did see a lot of Xbox comments. Hopefully we'll get over to that eventually. But for today, PlayStation, last time was PC. I did see some uh, computer comments too. So uh, we'll, we'll try to switch it up eventually back and forth. But today, PlayStation, I did see a lot of comments where people said their track game. They're like, hey, try this track. But you didn't say what platform. You didn't say your username. Nothing. So uh, couldn't even find those. So I'm just uh, picking the ones of the people that said where they're playing it, what the name of the track is, and their username. So uh, yes, let's jump into this, starting with the first track. So here we have 12MX Compound by Tino. Head to the track, show you this uh, wicked, wicked quad right here. Fat scrub. Woo! Over jump, but that's okay. I really, really, really love that uh, quad. And the overall layout is really, really good. My two favorite parts. I, I don't have anything bad to say about this track, actually. I, I really don't. I feel like it's... Check it out. I feel like it's a fairly solid track. I... It's uh, shorter. You know, those other two tracks we did were like three minute lap times. This is uh, a bit shorter. But it doesn't bother me. I mean, I don't mind the, the long lap time. But sometimes it's just like, oh my gosh, this is going on forever. And this is uh, more the one 120 ish. Check it out, we're whipping everywhere. Everybody gets mad. This guy don't whip. This is how you whip. Thumb sticks together, some thumb sticks apart. Oh yeah, is that is that really how you do it? We do it like this. Let's do it again. You guys know you wanna see this. You wanna see this huge quad again. Oh yeah, perfect. Look at that other guy, OJ and uh, it has a really good flow to it. It feels kind of, I mean, it feels like a motocross track. It feels pretty good. It doesn't feel like a supercross track. Look at that white line. The game is like kind of, kind of glitching on PlayStation. Get it? Why? It's going to whip. Really good uh, layout. It doesn't have like a jump everywhere. It feels pretty good. Uh, maybe so far one of my favorite tracks that we've seen. I mean, I know we've only done, this would only be the fourth track, but. Yep. Getting good at it. I really like it. I really do like this track, especially for the you know, what he has to work with. I mean, yeah, the track would have been better if, would have been better if it had hills, if it had some pre-made ruddy corners, some upper straight, uh, some jumps that weren't really rolled off. Yeah, but that's not Tino's fault. His track is really good with what he had to work with. I like it. It's, uh... It's just the editor is really basic. So, yeah, we're going to give this one and a half stars. Good job, Tino. I really enjoyed it. One and a half stars. I feel like it, the layout was really good. That probably my favorite part was just the overall layout. If you took all the jumps out, the layout was really good. That quad was fun. Um, everything else was just kind of kind of normal. Um, nothing super original, but, you know, we haven't done a lot of tracks, so we're not really sure what... Uh, what necessarily original might be. So one and a half stars, pretty solid, pretty okay. Uh, let's jump over into the second track. Okay, so here we have AJ27 by Davis. Have not tried the track, so looks to be a bit jumpy. Hopefully we can Get a first impression here. 
I'm okay with that. Is this a double? Okay. Oh no, hop up. Okay, hop down into the pool. Hop out. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Triple OJ. Whoa, I'm on the track. Double bit short. Can we get it still? Oh, that's a triple. And that's a quad. Okay. Might have to adjust our gearing. Maybe. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I like that. I mean, it doesn't feel like a... I know some of these tracks feel like Supercross tracks, including my own. Um, but... This one's jumpy, but it, oh man, that feels good. That flows. I don't know, this one's not too jumpy. I mean, or, or no, it's it's really jumpy, but it still feels like a moto track. It just feels like a really jumpy motocross track. All right, got the raised corner, need that. Triple, oh yeah, we need a fourth. Got it. Got it. Nice. I love it. Oh no. Can we still do it? Oh, no, I over jumped it. It was this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Video game save. Where was that section we really had trouble with? Is it this one? Coming up? Yeah. Oh, better. Way better. I mean, I I really like this track. I feel like with with the editor we have, Davis did a a, a really 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 good job here. Really really good job. Um, it's super flowy. Everything blends really 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 well together very well just very very ooh. just works really good still kind of maintains that motocross feel to it it is fairly jumpy but uh i don't know i mean i like that stuff it's a video game i really enjoy jumps and I know that the jumps aren't very great in this game but overall this track is super awesome very very well built very well laid out really good job man really 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 good job the lap time isn't too long and it's not too short. It still fits in that one and a half, two minute lap time range, which is a, a really good place, I believe. It's not, uh, you know, noxiously long. So uh, really good, awesome layout, awesome. All the sections of the track uh, fit really, really well. And it felt really good when you actually hit it the way you should. So really good job for now. I mean, it is early, half a star. Half a star. That's the lowest you can get without having zero stars. So the lowest you could have, the best you could have is zero stars. Half a star. Awesome track. Really, really enjoyed this one. Half a star. Highly recommend it to you guys if you're on PlayStation. AJ27, I believe. 
by uh, Davis. And I might be saying your name wrong. Forgive me, but you did fantastic, dude. Let's go check out the third and final track. All right, guys, so here we have it. Flowmaster 5000 by Bull Breaker. Let's head to the track. I haven't tried it yet, but he did say that he tried to be out of the box. Uh, he played a lot of tracks, he said, that were very uninspiring. With, uh, there we go, not be made. And so, and so his track, he uh, wanted to have a, a motocross feel to it, not just a supercross track outside. Kind of take it a bit slow. Sight lap. Because we know it's not... Oh, yeah. Just perfect. Nice. He's trying to get some... A <laughs> little bit of elevation. Well, he doesn't have much because Milestone didn't give us hills. Triple? Was that pre-made? I don't know. Hard to tell. Oh, just barely. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Just... Ooh. Little baby over jump. So we have a pre made triple there. And possibly one earlier. Not too much pre made, must be huge. Oh! Oh! It kind of curved away from us. Oh, nice, we're jumping in and out of the pool. You know, that entire back section was awesome, actually. Like, the first part of the track is okay. I'm not, like, the hugest fan. I mean, I like this. I like, uh, it's not pre-made. He had to test that, you know, put it there and see if it worked. Because in MXGP, you can't really jump anything. Everything's pulled off. But, uh, I mean, the first part's fun. It, it has, a uh, the motocross feel to it where it's not rhythm section after rhythm section. I know that middle track kind of a little bit had that supercross feel to it. Just a little bit. I still feel like it was kind of outdoor-ish. You know, it didn't, it didn't feel just like a supercross track outside. And this track definitely doesn't feel like that. See, that might be pre-made. I don't know. Maybe not. This is just right, but this back section by the finish line is awesome. All right, this was a triple, but we don't need that much of a run. Over jumping a little bit. And then uh, pretty much uh, from maybe, yeah, from about here to the finish is unique. This thing is huge, right? That is awesome. Oh. Oh no. It was ruined. Uh, I love the section before the finish. And the rest of the track's good. I, I don't have a problem with the rest of the track. I wouldn't, it's not a bad build. It's just kind of... I mean, I really appreciate that you didn't put in a bunch of pre-made stuff. I mean, pre-made stuff... Okay, so pre-made, if you turn the pre-made into something else, like you have the triple, but uh, maybe you put a jump before it, and you triple on and then jump off, you know, kind of blend them together, that's cool. And some pre-made stuff isn't a problem. I mean, I, I mean the way the track editor is, you're going to use some pre-made stuff probably, but... Uh, this track, he tried to stay away from that, and I do appreciate it. I love the big triple before the finish, and then the, the section leading up to the finish is awesome. 
And the layout's really good. It's just, uh, yeah, I mean, my favorite part, though, was the back part. Uh, all the tracks were in the woods. Everybody likes the woods. I think it's because the Riviera is, like, really, really uh, slippery. And the desert is just kind of uninspiring. But uh, uh, people like the woods. But, uh, yeah, really good job. We're going to give it one star. I feel like it's a solid track. I really, really did enjoy the section by the finish and before it. Mentioned that a few times already. Uh, that for me is what gave it one star. If that wouldn't have been there, it would have been at least a one and a half for sure. Maybe higher, but really good job. Layout was all right. Uh, lap times were, you know, just about right. Not too long. I don't have a problem with a long lap time. No, don't get me wrong. If your track is good and it's fun the entire three, five, six, seven, eight, nine minutes it is, whatever, great. Some of these tracks, it's like three, four minutes. And it's like, oh my gosh, is it ever going to end? You know, it's like pre-made triple after pre-made triple after pre-made triple. So, yeah. But uh, you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really, really does mean a lot. I say it all the time and want to make it apparent. Without you guys, the channel would be nothing. So, thank you for your support. If you enjoy this series, please leave a like on it. And let me know in the comments what your track is, your name of your track, the platform you're playing on, console or PC, what console, and your gamer tag. I need that or I can't find it. There was a bunch of tracks, didn't have gamer tag or what platform, so I didn't even try. Let me know all that stuff if you want to uh, have me check out your track. And if you want to see this continue, let me know in the comments and leave a like on the video and we can. Thank you for the support. You guys and girls are absolutely amazing. And until the next video, take it easy.